Palace Theatre here in the heart of London has stood proudly in the heart of Victoria for over a hundred years. Of course, it's a fine, magnificent building. Today, surrounded by lots and lots of glass buildings, but its history is rich. It's currently home, of course, to the mega smash musical Hamilton, breaking box office records. But that's not the only show that was a huge success here at the Victoria Palace. Way back in 1960, this particular theatre was the home of that year's Royal Variety Performance. I always love it when they called it Royal Variety Performance rather than Command Performance, don't you? But of course, that year it had a galaxy of stars. One of my favourites particularly, Mr Max Bygraves. And another lady that's almost forgotten in today's showbiz fraternity, and that is Miss Marion Ryan. She was an excellent singer, very glamorous lady, and of course she got to meet Her Majesty the Queen. When Liberace appeared here in 1960 at the Victoria Palace, he was really riding high. He had a hit TV series in America, over here too, by ATV. And of course, his glittering persona was yet to hit Las Vegas in its biggest form. But he performed for the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, and was a great success, in fact, becoming a good friend of the Duke of Edinburgh. But the show itself, of course, was a magnificent spectacular put together by a local Lancastrian Bolton impresario himself, Mr. Jack Hilton. Mr. Hilton was a huge impresario and had even put together a spectacular at the Royal Variety Show in 1955 at Blackpool's Opera House. But some said, cruelly, really leaving out one of Blackpool's favourite comedians, the King of the South Pier himself, the one and only Dave Morris, who was offered simply a walk on part. Quite frankly, by this point, of course, Jack Hilton was unstoppable, a king, if you like, in the entertainment world. And more importantly, he too had had a go at TV. But the Victoria Palace was more than that. Even I have a bit of a history with it. I've appeared on their stage, and right back at the beginning, I was even an usher here. Yes, serving programs, ice creams, and clearing up all those lolly sticks. So I know what it's like from both sides of the curtain. Now, another big show that was massive here at the Victoria Palace was none other than the wonderful Crazy Gang. Another Jack Hilton impresario production. The Crazy Gang were incredible. It's hard to imagine just how popular they were. And of course their shows ran and ran and ran here at the Victoria Palace. Now in 1960, the Royal Variety Performance, a few of the Crazy Gang actually dressed up as beef eaters to greet the Queen upon arrival. And there's some wonderful footage of the Queen looking and thinking, are these really beef eaters? And then she realizes, of course, it's the Crazy Gang. The history of the Victoria Palace could go on and on. It's a wonderful building, as I say, now being cherished by Cameron McIntosh. But another show that was phenomenally successful here at the Victoria Palace was one that we daren't even speak about in today's terms because it's simply not PC. But of course, one of the biggest shows here at the Victoria Palace was indeed the Black and White Minstrel Show. Let's not forget, of course, also it toured around the UK to great success in venues in Scarborough and Blackpool. The show was unstoppable, but it was here where die-hard fans emerged from the station just across the road to queue up in their droves to see the wonderful Black and White Minstrels. So what about the Victoria Palace today? Well, as I say, it stands proud against all these glass tower buildings. And it will remain, of course, so because it's a beautiful, beautiful venue. And you really want to have a look at some wonderful Frank Maxim architecture. Just book to see Hamilton the Musical. And really, that's worth the ticket price alone. Just look around the wonderful venue and see exactly why this particular theatre is a true London theatre gem. I'm Neil Sean. Thank you so much for watching today.